Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's episode number 33 today. Hope you're all doing well out there. It's Thursday, so uh, the first thing you can let me know in the comment section below is what you got in your rivals rewards. Did you take the untradables, the tradables, the half and half? Let me know. And did you pack anyone in there? Because I'm curious to know. Uh, and when, once you've written that comment, you can scroll up just a little bit and smash the thumbs up button. So that we can hopefully see 6,000 likes on this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your amazing support. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Um, right then, so essentially this episode is going to be about player picks, foot draft. And champs playoffs, all right? Kind of a little bit of all of that throughout. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, we're going to start with some player picks, though, because they're, they're fun, aren't they? Um, unfortunately for me, when these came out, the afternoon before they came out at the 6 p.m., I had just shoved most of my club into two rag old player packs. So I didn't have a whole bunch to do these uh, these little player picks with. Now, essentially, these are a little bit of a dub, simply because, I mean, it's not a dub when you get when you get a duplicate on tradable 83. Uh, so I, I had to end up discarding him. Maybe I can grab him back from the, uh, the thingy on the web app if I really need him. But with 83s being so cheap, I guess I don't really need to. Uh, so we got five more done with the rest of my club. Um, but yeah, essentially they're a bit of a dub because for one rare gold and three non-rare golds, you get another rare gold. So it's sort of like the cost is really three non-rares, which hopefully you have some untradable ones in your club, ideally. Um, and with that you get the chance to maybe yeah it's like also re-rolling to see if you can maybe turn that that not that rare player into another good player so yeah anyway that's that's why i think they're a bit of a dub um and they're fun as well player picks are always good you get like obviously a a better chance of getting something good um because two players pop up instead of just like a one player pack or something like that so uh Although I guess most of them are two-player packs, so I guess, I guess you kind of get the same chance. Uh, but then you just take the best one. Uh, UEFA for marquee matchups. Obviously, we got the first one of them the other day. Uh, I was when this dropped. I, I was away at the Portsmouth away match where my team Ipswich Town won four nil away on my first away day for I don't know how many years. So I think I might be a good luck charm, and I might be going to a few more away matches. That's for sure. Um, and it was also really cool to meet a bunch of you guys out there, Ipswich fans and Pompey fans. So uh, thank you for coming up and saying hi. Uh, we took some pictures and we had a little chat and that was really nice. So uh, yeah, it's great to see some of the people that actually watch this video. I look into a lens, whereas, uh, you know, you guys know who I am, but I don't necessarily know who all of you are, apart from in the comments every day. Uh, so we get a little at Sherby. 83 overall rating, nothing great. Uh... I wonder when. I wonder when 83s and stuff are going to bang in price. Or is it just a case that it's going to take ages? Because we've all had so many like packs and rewards and 83s in our club. And some some of us have been stupid enough to like buy some of them as like uh, investments. So I wonder if even the first time around where they would normally shoot up in price. Whether they just don't because they're going to get absolutely flooded by all of us. It's an interesting one. We pack Pope again. I decide this time I'm just going to take Felipe Anderson because otherwise it's just a waste. I've already gotten rid of a Pope. I know he's untradeable. And then I wasn't sure here. Fernandinho, is the other one an untradeable one or should I take Eric Bailly? Well, in the end, I sort of risk it for the biscuit. We're going to go ahead and take Fernandinho. And is the other one tradable? Oh, no. Damn it. So it was another waste of a player. Uh, all good, though, because the next one, we actually do get an 83, which we haven't got in the club. We get Arthur or Arthur, uh, and then we end off with a Hermoso. So from these player picks so far, I've not had anything massive. I've not, I don't think I've had anything bigger than an 83, but they're a good little grind. You could almost start with the bronze players and do the upgrade packs through that until you could get the non-rare golds and enough to, to complete... 
an SBC. That's quite a fun grind, I could imagine. Uh, so it's time to do another little foot draft because I hadn't played FIFA in a couple of days and I know I wanted to play my playoff matches. So I thought eh, a little foot draft might warm me up somewhat. Um, I didn't fancy just going into rivals. I actually, I wanted to spend a, another 300 of those FIFA points. I I've been typically doing about one draft a week so far, maybe a little less than that, I guess, since the game has been out about four weeks now. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the highlights of this draft, it wasn't a great one. Uh, the very first draft I did was insane. And then the rest of them have all been a little bit meh. But I guess we did get Ronaldo. We did get Messi. Um, and like Sadio Mane, I think. Uh, who else did we get? Like Kante. So there's a few players that I could work with. But this squad in a 3-5-2, it's going to require some substitutions really early on uh, to make it sort of properly playable. So I envisage playing Mane up front with Ronaldo. Uh, we're going to go with um, Messi at Cam. I'll bring him on. Elianusi and Kante are going to stay as the CDMs. I know Elianusi is not perfect for that role. We'll bring on like Quadrado. Uh, we'll bring on a centre-back. I, I, I took the... Uh, who's that low-rated but very, very fast? I forget his name. Uh, the, the Leipzig centre-back. Well, anyway, he's on my bench. I'm going to bring him on. In the first game of the draft, we come up against Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Oli's at the wheel for this team. And is it going to prove to be a difficult match? Or are we going to end up winning? I don't know. Well, Messi was running through and he lifted it up for Ronaldo to leap like a salmon. And I can't believe I got a little 1-0 rage quit. A little pause and rage quit after 30 minutes. I must have dominated or something because there's no other real reason why people would do that. Surely. Unless he had a free draft token and he just didn't really care. He just wanted to get a couple of packs. Next team has Messi wants to watch just like us. He's got Abedi Pele and also David or David Ginola. Um, how terrible are those pronunciations, by the way? I have no idea how to properly say people's names that aren't John Smith. Um, I struggle. I do struggle. Anyway... Both Messi's have scored. Uh, his Messi went and scored straight away, and then uh, mine scored a lovely finesse shot. And then Messi into my Ronaldo to hit a, uh, a beautiful bicycle kick. And I don't know how the keeper's not getting that, but Ginola heads it home, I think. Awful goal for me to concede. I don't know how the keeper's not saved it. But we're too old. We're still staying confident. Uh, and even if we went out, like I felt a little bit warmed up from playing these games. So I was sort of ready to go into some of my playoff matches. You know, the only downside I can see of playing draft instead of rivals to warm up is that obviously I'm playing with a completely different team in a completely different formation, but still I'm just get, getting the old fingers warmed up so that we can, uh, we can actually move the controller quite nicely and hopefully get some wins. So I win 4-3. I get a very late winner there, but I think I properly deserve that match. Looking back though, 15 shots from my opponent and 17 from me. It was an end-to-end -end kind of game. Into the, into the what is going to be the semi-finals now. We face up against a Cordoba at the back. Uh, we get through with Ronaldo here. And since the last guy moved his keeper and I still shot across the goal, luckily it went in. I thought, you know what? I'm shooting near post with Ronaldo if I get an identical situation, which I did. And then this is some real messy dribbling. That was just like weaving in and out. You love to see it. And uh, at 2-0 in the semi-finals, he's quit. Messi, Ronaldo, both of those guys in draft. Oh, I can't wait till I've got enough coins to, to buy someone like that on the RTG. The only annoying thing is, of course, is that the market is like crashing all over the place. So players that I bought for like 150k are now worth like 90. <sighs> sad. Absolutely sad. It means that, you know, playing the weekend league wasn't even really worth it. Frustrating. Anyway, into the final we go. I score a goal after 17 minutes. Uh, admittedly... After getting completely battered, like I was just holding on. Uh, and it didn't take him long. He basically kick off goal me to get the equalizer. And for some reason, I couldn't either grab the right player or I couldn't keep up with uh, Isaac. And yeah, I found myself 2-1 down quite quickly after scoring the goal to go 1-0 up. But just before halftime, literally on the stroke of halftime, we whip it in and Mane is there uh, to volley home at the back post. I love that. But in all honesty, I mean, the game says it's fairly even, but I didn't really deserve to be in the lead here. Uh, good ball in and a solid volley from Messi. But uh, yeah, it, this guy was better than me. Um, but the annoying thing is the way that his next couple goals come. Like, 
three all, fair enough. I might get another lucky one or two, but look at that. Look at the touch off of uh, Azpilicueta, and he somehow rounds the goalkeeper and gets it to go in. Uh, and then right here, uh, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Off the post, back and hits his player and goes in. I paused and rage quit so fast. Obviously, at that point, I'd lost the game. Uh, and we still get our rewards. It's the third time I've played draft and the third time I've got to the final and then lost the final and, and got the exact same rewards. So uh, we get a gold players pack and we get a premium gold players pack. What are we going to get from these then? Uh, so... In gold players pack, no no flames. Oh, damn it, man. So we're not going to get boards or a walkout. We'll just get a little Marcelo. Luckily, though, what we are doing is putting a load of non-rares back in the club. So a few more player pick packs, player pick SBCs can get done before that expires. I think that one expires tonight, by the way, 6 p.m. Um, so once you've got your rivals rewards, make sure you do a few player picks if that is your cup of tea uh, before it expires at six and then we do get boards in the next one but it's just merino uh get a little nine golan and a tags tagliafico in that one but he's a duplicate and yeah i mean just more non-rares to go into player picks really uh so i knew it was time i knew it was time that i needed to go into playoffs and see what we can make happen all right i've got to win five out of the out of the nine games that we play five of them have to be w's and i score after one minute and i'm like hey this is going to be easy. So I went in with a different mentality this week. There's been a lot of chit chat, a lot of chatter on Twitter about how the people are saying that, you know, if you find the playoffs harder than the weekend league, you must be an idiot because the weekend league is full of people that won the playoffs. And I get the logic behind that. I really do. <laughs> but um, it just seems like completely different because... You can match up against the sweatiest of sweats in what feels it seems to be uh, in the playoffs. And I think because there's so much more on the line, like actually getting into the weekend league where no matter what happens, you're going to get some pretty good rewards. Like, it seems like people don't necessarily like go as crazy hard. Maybe in the last few games when you're like close to the next level or something. But in the playoffs, it's... It's like every man for himself. It is, uh, it's war out there. And uh, yeah, I mean, we get a, a victory in game number one. So I was feeling pretty good. But because there's so many people out there saying, oh, no, they're easy. Just go 5-0. and oh. Don't, you're just overthinking it. Don't stress out or anything. You know, just, just play football and you'll be fine. Because uh, most of the time you'll be better than the people you come up against. Well, uh, <laughs> this next game wasn't the case. I got, unfortunately, matched up against someone with a couple of very nice reds. Uh, a Neymar, a Salah, just a genuinely good team. And he was a very good player as well. Uh, so I forfeit the match after being 3-0 down. Obviously, I'm not going to come back into that one. And I still get my one point anyway, so it's, it makes no difference. It just, pro it, you know, it, it gets... Gets the inevitable out of the way um, instead of just prolonging it and playing the entire match out. Uh, next game, I come up against uh, record breaker in Yaki Williams. This guy was crazy enough to spend the 130 odd K to complete that SBC from scratch. Um, and I give a penalty away. Carrasco steps up and scores, so I'm 1 0 down. But I felt a little bit hard, hard done by it, in all honesty, to be 1 0 down. But then when he makes it 2 0 just before half time, I'm like, huh? Really? How is this happening? Because I have a, I mean, I have a slightly better XG. I just genuinely thought that my chances were more deserved of goals. Obviously, a penalty is a different story. But uh, anyway, into the second half we go. Push forward here. Get through with Isaac. And I do manage to score into the roof of the net there. Probably should have timed that one uh, to make sure it went in. But a good shot from uh, Fekir. And then look at this. Look at the amount of pressure I'm on. Uh, oh. It's because I was throwing the kitchen sink at him. It's the 90th minute, basically last kick of the game. He could have booted that out and been fine. He even given away a corner, I probably wouldn't have scored from it. But he tried to keep it in play. Two of my players hounded him down. And we got that equaliser right at the end. It was to no avail, though. Because he ends up scoring with Rashford here. And then just basically trying to keep the ball for the rest of the game. Which is smart, in all honesty. But yeah, I've ended up losing that one. And I felt so hard done by, I'm not going to lie. So I'm now, now one and two. One and two in playoffs. I thought best to stop there because something ain't right. Okay. And then in tomorrow's episode, I'll just get cracking on. 
because I know that obviously we're going to want to see our rivals rewards as well and all that sort of stuff and some more player picks uh, before they expire for me. So yeah, I'll get I'll get the playoffs completed tomorrow. Hopefully we don't bottle it. Um, but I am a little bit scared because I don't think I've been one and two before. I think I've always pretty much been positive. Last week we went five and one. So yeah, it's a an odd one or five and two or something like that. Anyway, um, still not absolutely sure about this team. I think there's some reshuffling needed. I don't know who I trust and who I don't trust in this starting 11, like in the attackers. Do I need Sterling and Usman Dembele? I've got a feeling I kind of do. So maybe rejig stuff, put players back in that should be there and stop trying to force like having Fekir and Depay in the team just because they're my newest cards. I don't know. Guys, I'll be back again tomorrow uh, for a new episode. If you could do me that huge favor of smashing the thumbs up button, that'd be amazing. We're talking 6,000 likes, all right? I'd love to see it. I know you can do it, and I'd be very grateful for it. Um, also, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you are new, you've got quite a lot of catching up to do, like 30, 32 other episodes for you to catch up on. So make sure you go back and watch them. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You can find those links down below. And other than that, I just hope hope you all have a good day. Like I said, if you uh, if you haven't already, let me know what you got in your rivals rewards. I'm curious. Uh, and uh, what your plans are for the weekend. Are you in the weekend league? Are you still struggling? Have you got to qualifiers yet? I'm curious to know. Have a good one, guys, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.